Catherine Watkins, eighth grade humanities teacher at Cedar Park Middle School, and my pronouns are she, her, we, and us. Woke Portland teacher says colleagues who don't want to teach anti-racism are like pedophiles and warns they'll be fired if they refuse to do so. Welcome to the Dumb Dumb News channel, dedicated to reviewing and discussing news stories from around the world. Help me trigger the YouTube algorithm by pressing the thumbs up button, subscribing to my channel, leaving a comment, and sharing with someone you think would like this content. Sources will be linked in the description, so you can read the full details yourself. Let's watch this video before we discuss. I'm Catherine Watkins, 8th grade humanities teacher at Cedar Park Middle School, and my pronouns are she, her, we, and us. Um, I'm gonna say something that's not nice and not sweet, but it's true. If you're not evolving into an anti-racist educator, you're making yourself obsolete in this field of profession. Um, our district is only getting browner and browner with our children. And so if, you know, obviously you can't change your melanin, all right, but you can change your mind so that you can actually function in a, a district that is full of BIPOC children. So if you're being resistant, I understand that, but you're going to have to eventually come to the light. Because if you're going to keep with those old views of um, colonialism, um, it's going to lead to being fired because you're going to be doing damage to our children, um, trauma. And so as we fire the teachers who sexually abuse our children, we will be firing the, the teachers who do racist things to our children and traumatize them. And while our district might not be completely on there, OE, um, OEA is working on it. All right, NEA is working on it. And so it's just a matter of time. So it's like you either evolve or dissolve. You've got to start walking with us. My first thoughts are if you go around telling people your pronouns are she, her, we, and us, then in my opinion, you have mental issues with your pronoun self. You start off by creating division from others by labeling yourself this way. Then you go on to lecture what looks like a very diverse group of educators about losing their jobs if they don't start teaching anti-racism, saying that if they hold on to the old views of colonialism they will be fired. What? You're actually saying that some of your fellow educators think that way? What a shame. Okay, you teach humanities so I can see why you would bring this up, but aren't the main subject matters in middle school still math, reading and science? From videos and news articles I've seen, Portland has been on a downward spiral of chaos and in my opinion, this is just adding fuel to that fire. How in the world did USA become racist in 2021 when we seem to be more and more diverse by the day? Aren't educators vetted before they start teaching? And please give me one example of an educator teaching students to be racists. The garbage you are spewing and the disdain you are showing for your fellow colleagues is not humane. I hope the school district comes to the light and fires you. Those are my thoughts, what are yours? Leave them in the comments below. Please share this video for education and awareness. For the Dumb Dumb News channel, I'm Dumb Dumb.